All right, ladies and gentlemen, or whoever is interested in watching this video, this is a kind of a semi unboxing of my leaf shape that I received a couple of days ago. And um, I was directed towards this razor by um, Steve the Daily Shaver from YouTube channel Steve the J Daily Shaver, who's also on Facebook. Uh, on the Facebook page real men shave so thank you very much for that Steve and the guys are very helpful and they even gave me a discount I think it was five dollars or ten dollars doesn't matter how much it was uh, what matters is the intention and the thought which was definitely there now the first to begin with the first thoughts looking at the box I have to tell you and as you can see I had a I, I opened it up and had a, just a quick peek inside, not a detailed one, just a quick peek. I just couldn't help it. Uh, but I have to tell you that this thing isn't cheap. Nothing is cheap about this company. Uh, and the attention to detail, I love the attention to detail. It's not a handwritten something or a shabby label. As you can see, I've just taped some identifiers here. And have a look. This is a whole label which is covering the whole face which they've put on it and it's really nicely made and absolutely beautifully packaged and um, good padding inside there and it's got there uh, it was shipped uh, on may of 9th if you can see it i don't know there's a bit of a reflection there anyway uh, so that's that and then i opened it up and the first thing that i uh, got from this on the top was this bit of a information leaflet and again <clears throat> there's nothing cheap about this company everything is uh, very well made I have to say the quality is fantastic um, and forgive the cars passing outside the house uh, yeah so this is what you get in leaf shave this is what you see do you have any questions there's a QR code and everything this is a welcome message and then in there on the first page they show you um, <clears throat> the um, uh, how to put the blades in and I'm presuming it it's applicable to all blades essentially not just the blades that they send to you uh, but we are going to uh, find out soon isn't it so yeah so that's that um, and, uh, and the other thing they uh, I think I'll attend to the screw in a minute and you get this I'm gonna zoom out just give me a moment please because this is a silver chrome finish so I just got this black board out because if I had um, filmed it on uh, on this background uh, you wouldn't be able to see the uh, lines and the edges and the borders and margins of the razor and other stuff very clearly so this is what you get this is um, comes comes out and this, this has got the razor and they've got this um, black finish chrome finish and the rose gold the rose gold I spoke with the with Adam and they said that they've discontinued it because there was issues uh, with its uh, finish coming off after a while and they've actually discontinued it but it's really some it's I've got a Mont Blanc pen in a rose gold uh, or um, some sort of gold finish which was their 19th anniversary edition and this is a beautiful color and I can tell that this is a very very nice subtle yet a graceful color and I would definitely order as soon as one becomes available but for now I he said go for the silver one if you want the least maintenance one because with the black one with the black finish you are like to get some spots and uh, impressions of uh, of water drops on it so essentially you have to wipe it very meticulously after every shave otherwise the watermarks will stay on the finish and he said chrome is the least uh, is the lowest maintenance so go for it and I'm a lazy guy I have to say I don't like it and I don't like spending too much time on things that I can actually avoid doing it so I'm happy for now so we'll attend we'll come to this in a minute uh, this didn't come with the leaf shave razor this is a separate pack that I'm going to just trial it so what else is in there let's have a look so oh so this is just a, a, a um, receipt and then there were a lot of uh, packing material uh, padding and this and that and whatnot 
So this is you come in and this is what you get when you open the package. Let's see what's this. Ah, so I had all of this whole starter kit. So this is their um, um, the uh, blade disposal unit. So or essentially a bit of a pin box just to put your blades in until you can discard them somewhere else. So nice touch. And what else? Ah, oh, that's a twig. We'll open it in a short while. And oh, these are the blade free blades which come with it, marked free blades. Again, they haven't. I mean, seriously, um, they could have handwritten it, but no, they went the extra mile and they got it actually either stenciled onto the tape or they got a tape printed. They've got a tape made which has got free blades, and on the other side it says, "Have some." free blades from us, free blades on us. So that's a very nice touch as I said, attention to detail. And nothing pleases me more than a company paying good attention to detail. That means they take their customers very seriously and that's absolutely good. I love it. So so there's another blade pack. Oh, so okay, so I just realized this is in addition to this one, which is the actual pack of the blades that's supposed to accompany them but they've sent me um, oh there it is so that one so this one is actually on top of the standard pack so extra blades that's nice thank you Adam I'll definitely drop in a line to you on the Facebook once I upload this review and ladies and gentlemen ah oh, look at this this is the stand again silver chrome black and rose gold finish rose gold that we don't have we'll continue to hope they come up with it Ooh. so this is really heavy and so as I said this got a very good heft to it look at look at the detail I'm just gonna zoom in here look at this thing this is just this is just phenomenal quality and just there's so much weight and heft to it this is beautiful Oh, this, geez, this is fantastic. And, and do you hear the thud? See that? So that's a heavy thing. That's, a, that's not a l cheaply made light stuff. And it's got this rubber footing to give it a grip, which is fantastic because last thing you want is this thing running around on your sink. Definitely not. So that's it. And then this packaging material nice towel and all that but yeah we don't need that do we this is just going to go into some sort of recycle or something I don't know I'll attend to that later on so we've got the razor we've got the twig and we've got this heavy stand which does not like to move doesn't no that's how it should be now the star attraction is this Ah, look at this thing. It's beautiful. As I said, nothing is cheap. It's heavy. It's got a good heft to it. Let's zoom it in all the way as much as I can capture in the frame. This is this is ah, oh, this is beautiful. It's got a very nice way to it. And what I actually like is that it's see with the other double-edged razor that I have which is a Parker adjustable one it's more heft and more weight is in its head it's less so in the handle what that means is when I'm shaving actually I have to I have to actually support the weight of the head here it's more heft in the handle in the shaft and it seems to rest very nice in my hand and you can see I've got a big, I don't know, big, big, big chunky hands this is going to sit very this is already sitting very nice so I'm very happy with it actually and um, yeah so have a little bit of more close-up let's zoom in oops sorry there you go have a look so look at this thing this is very very high class finish there's nothing cheap this is the other side and they say this screw doesn't actually fall out so if you unscrew it all the way it's actually not going to fall out because it's going to stay in there 
so and you've seen those implements with that kind of thing so yeah let's see how it goes into the stand so as you can see the stand is triangular in cross section and if you look at this thing the handle is kind of triangular in cross section if you can appreciate that look on the other side very nice finish a bit beautiful leaf there it's see it's very minimalistic I have to say I, I really appreciate people and you see this being done by musicians most of the time they try to do a cover and then they totally screw it up by doing too much music in it because they're trying to show off their prowess that they can do it they've got the technical expertise to do it and the person who really shines there is the one who sticks to a minimalist approach not too much not too less just the right amount of every instrument every track the right volume the right beat and that's what they've done with this thing so if you look at this very minimalist and this leaf and it's look like a I don't know sculpture a technical sculpture kind of thing look at this side this is the other side so how does it go in wing oh. is there a magnet in there I wonder no there isn't I think there's something to think about actually how about Adam if you don't mind me saying it how would you guys actually think of putting a magnet in there I don't know if this is magnetic or not and if it would stick to magnetic stuff but I think that will be a very good interesting thing to do because I mean yes it's sitting there nicely but it's a bit wobbly am I doing it wrong I don't know I don't think I'm doing it wrong because it goes right through in it's coming it's not touching and see if, if you look at the other side uh, it is a bit jutting out but I don't think it will actually touch the sink surface because there's this rubber housing so and there's a bit of a drainage thing that's beautiful because that's again attention to detail they didn't block it off otherwise the this end would always be sitting in a bit of a, a really really minute pool of water of course you don't want that do you no you don't I don't I don't know about you so yes it's definitely not this way it's this way and I, I mean I know there's a bit of a wobble but I was I don't know why but I was expecting this to as I go in it will click and magnetic snap it, it will get snapped into its place by a magnetic thing that didn't happen hey it doesn't matter because I'm sure Adam is gonna look into it and probably magnet can actually make the lower end a bit heavier I don't know because um, this thing will get washed with hot water and as we know that repeated exposure to heat or higher temperatures can actually cause the magnet to lose its magnetism over time so if you want to make a magnet lose all its magnetism just boil it in water or uh, you know whatever it will lose its if most if not all of its magnetic power so let's put this aside and let's get this thing out of the way because this is distracting uh, how about I get this out of the way because then I can just focus that's better I like that ah beautiful and let's open the twig so this is the one too uh, this is Adam Adam actually posted something on the Facebook because this is something in progress and I suggested to Adam that look this is definitely something you can actually uh, develop into a razor of it so it's a plastic thing which is I'm, I'm just gonna take it out just give me a moment please because I think this has got all the potential to become a razor of in its own right and I suspect that is what they are doing uh, he gave a hint on his Facebook page in his um, leaf shave Facebook page so yeah so look at it I'm not I'm not too keen on it because I think it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a thought it's to you know trim the mustache or all that stuff difficult to reach areas but to be honest what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a um, oh I don't know blue, uh, Gillette uh, blue to pivot thing this doesn't have a pivot so that's another thing I really like pivot does it have a pivot oh beautiful it does have a pivot because and yes I actually checked it and some people said the spring should be stronger I don't know because if you look at I've been using Gillette G, Gillette uh, 
blue two pivoted razor for a very long time i don't think he, it even has a razor it has a spring so this has a this has a pivot and see how far it goes oh beauty look at this so no angle is around your mandible i'm oh, sorry i'm using a medical terms because i'm a doctor so can't help it to become a kind of a second nature uh, so your jawbone beautiful Jeez, man this looks like a surgical instrument to me and i've used a lot of them <laughs> all right so that's that so beautiful well beautiful in the sense that i'm hoping it will become something much greater than a you know plasticky thing uh, and i think that is what they are working on now how to get the blade in so they say uh, just a usual blade snap it into two and i'm not a fan of two <coughs> excuse me three blades so what i'm doing is i'm actually thinking of doing uh, putting only two blades in actually because i'm not a fan of three blades three blades is just too much of uh, stuff onto going on to my, you know scratching against my skin surface and originally I'm from Pakistan and what they the barbers do in Pakistan which I'm sure people do here too is normal blade click you hear that didn't you and this blade is I ordered a sample pack from one of the websites I don't know which one it was beard and blade or something like that I don't remember so that's the blade that I've just snapped into two and I'm gonna zoom in and see how this how this <coughs> Excuse me. So as I said, they've said in the uh, initial booklet that you get, you get a bit of instructions, well, a fair bit of instructions actually, uh, and they tell you how to put the blade in. They also tell you you've got your own specific uh, purchase code which you can pass on to other people. I don't have that, but I'm going to contact them and. Um, I'll try if I can obtain and forward this because I really think I've obviously I haven't done a shave but I really am already enjoying it so uh, so it comes in like this and so this you lift this up so one one blade goes here one blade goes here and one blade goes here now which one is the uh, most aggressive shave as they call it I don't know I'm just gonna put I'm gonna look into that later on and uh, ouch careful boy all right so let's see if this goes in how does it go in? so this is this called magnetic thing here yeah there seems to be a bit of a magnetism there I don't know it did feel like it kind of you know a bit of a snap into place I don't know interesting <sighs> okay so this is gone and you do it this and I'm not interested in putting the third blade in so I'm just going to do this now the important thing they say is when you tighten the screw up don't tighten it too much you just go as far as go with the there it is seems all right to me so I'm gonna read that out here open razor insert blades This is what it is. So finger tighten the screw, but don't over tighten as the screw may strip. Did I strip it? I don't know. I don't think so. Yep. So this is resistance. So I'm happy with that. So yeah. So I think my um, I don't know. Maybe I'll do the shave tonight or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but definitely, it's going to be a um, an interesting interaction with this. Uh, with this razor and Steve the daily daily shaver is very very happy with it you can see his reviews on his own YouTube channel and actually he's the one who 
you know help me make up my mind I wasn't intending to buy this thing um, and uh, so a couple of good things a very high class finish and it's not insanely expensive at a couple of other razors that I came across which were I don't know three hundred dollars and you can't buy their blades from anywhere but from their own website so yeah and I don't like this issue this thing of locking people into themselves I just hate it and um, because what that means is if they go out of their business for whatever reason I don't know I don't care that means what that means is I will lose the ability to use the razor for which I spent three hundred dollars um, and that is what is I'm not happy about otherwise I might have and again okay, that's a single those are single razors and I do think that I do get better shave with with uh, I've been shaving a long time with blue too because it was just convenient uh, but also because all the double edge razors were essentially single razors like they were single blades not two blades I am not aware of anyone if someone else is they can let me know but this is the thing which is I think if I'm happy with it which I think I shall be is going to replace my uh, usual blue two Gillette blue two pivot razor and um, it's become a kind of a ritual because you do you do it's it's kind of a routine in the morning or in the night and sometimes when I'm not working on a day I'm I do a shave just for the heck of it because I can spend more time so yeah so let's see thank you very much for listening and everything and uh, we shall meet again have a good day